here is an area where the government once again has crippled people, handed them a crutch, and said, see, if it weren't for the government, you couldn't walk. Uh, it has done it in so many areas of our lives. But so many people have become dependent on Social Security. And everyone seems to recognize that Social Security is a mess. Government doesn't work. And government is no more able to run a retirement system than it is able to run the post office. What happens is you put your money in this legendary trust fund, and the politicians take the money out and spend it on the things that they want. It's a wonderful division of labor, I guess. Uh, they spend it, you pay for it. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that there is no trust fund. In, in reality, there's no money put aside for your future. So how are we going to unwind this and get the government out of it? What I propose is that we take the assets that the government shouldn't be owning in the first place, that serve no constitutional function. Assets like the 54% of the land in the 13 western states that the federal government owns. Uh, assets like the power companies, pipelines, the unused military bases like the Presidio and so many others that they closed down and then left in the government's hands to continue consuming money. Uh, the commodity reserves, the oil rights, mineral rights, all of these things. Put them up for auction over a six-year period. I wish it were a six-week period, but we don't want to depress the market. The first proceeds that come in from these auctions should go to buy private lifetime annuities for everyone who is dependent on Social Security today. Now that means that your parents or your grandparents will have firm, guaranteed contracts with companies like Equitable, Prudential, State Farm, companies that have never broken their promises, unlike the Congress of the United States. And all of the rest of us will be free at last from the 15% payroll tax that is draining money from us with no return ever to come to us ever. Now, this is a way we can get government out of Social Security without leaving anyone holding the bag. The assets should bring more than enough to pay off the Social Security liabilities. But beyond that, then, the assets as they produce uh, uh, proceeds from these sales should be used to pay down the federal debt so that we hopefully get rid of it entirely and be quits finally of the $275 billion a year in interest expense that we are currently paying for the failures of government programs of the past. Now, I don't know how much those assets will bring. Nobody knows until you actually put them up for sale. As various estimates have been made, anywhere from $5 trillion to $50 trillion as the worth of the government properties. But all I can say is this. If it turns out that they bring in $12 trillion, then we can liquidate the Social Security system and leave no one holding the bag and pay off the entire nominal debt of the federal government and clean the books of the interest expense every year so that we have a fresh start and our children have a fresh start and our grandchildren have a fresh start. We should be able to do this and we should be able to clean the, the, the decks once and for all and then pray that we do not step back into the same sewer from which we will have climbed out. Thank you.